Hey, this is the CND channel. I'm Chris, and this is MMA for You. I'm going to be doing my predictions for Bellator 52, which is going to happen on October 1st on MTV2. Okay, this uh, tournament, and a majority of this card um, is going to be heavyweights. The main card is going to be a part of the heavyweight tournament, uh, Bellator heavyweight tournament. So it's going to be either like quick knockouts or gassed out fighters. It's really tough to say. Um, there's a couple of, like, guys, um, who are, are going to make their Bellator debuts and whatnot. Um, and it, it's really hard to find prospects in, you know, in MMA that are heavyweights these days. So it, it's really hard, you know, the, the men's get, like, Cole Conrad. Their next best guy was, like, Neil Grove. So, you know, it, it's really hard to say if they'll, they'll find a diamond, a true diamond in the rough or not, um, over here. So, uh, let's go start with the main card and go on down. Um, okay. Uh, we got Mark Halata versus Ron Sparks. Uh, you know, I liked, uh, Ron Sparks. You know, I remember seeing his last fight. I think it was against Lucero, if I'm not mistaken. He's undefeated, you know. Um, most of his wins, like, a lot of heavyweights are in the first round, except for, like, one... Um, he, he was kind of an older, uh, fighter with, a uh, Halada, you know, um, he's on an eight fight winning streak, but, uh, I'm also impressed that he's had wins over, like, Sean Jordan and Carmelo Marrero. Uh, Jordan actually looked pretty good in his last strike force fight, and so that's a pretty good win, um, d uh, guy to have a win against, so I'll go with Mark Halada to win that one. Okay, next fight after that, we have Neil to Goliath Grove versus... Um, Mike Hayes. I remember Mike Hayes. He, won, he lost to Olenek. Uh, I forgot his last name. Or if that is his last name. Um, he was alright. You know, he, he, he has a uh, good amount of uh, su submissions and, and a good amount of uh, like KOs and TKOs. Um, but it's Neil Grove, man. I mean, he, he, just, he, he was a finalist and against uh, Cole Conrad um, in the last uh, heavyweight uh, attorney. You know, he's got some heavy hands. He really goes for broke. Um, you know, he had a really fun fight against Zach Jensen. And he, he actually looks like he's imp trying to improve his overall game. He, I mean, Groves, uh, I think he's in his late 30s now. but And actually, a, good, uh, a couple of these fighter, these heavyweights here are actually in their late 30s, actually. Um, but yeah, I gotta go with Neil Grove here. I mean, he, you know, he, he's, he's a guy that really stood out in the last Bellator tournament. Which is funny, because his one fight in the UFC, he got, he got his, like, knee ripped out, you know, by Mike, Mike Shelovisca or whatever. I can't pronounce the last guy's name, you know, but good for him. Okay, next fight after that, we have a prospect of, uh, Blago Ivanov. Uh, versus Tiago Santos, another prospect, actually. Tough one to say, actually. You know, uh, Avanov uh, is 5-0. and One of his fights, it was actually a no contest because the ring broke. You know, he's a Bulgarian guy. Uh, he's pretty young, too. He's only 24. He's kind of small for a heavyweight, though. He's 5'11". So that, that leaves me concerned. Um, Tiago Santos uh, only has, like, one loss in his record. Um, so, you know, it's really tough to say, um, I, I'm actually, you know, I, I gotta go with the taller fighter here, and Thiago Santos, I, I'm not too familiar with these guys, I can imagine if you're from Bulgaria, I, I'm guessing some sort of Sambo, or some sort of wrestling background, um, I'm just assuming here, um, but yeah, uh, Going with uh, Tiago Santos uh, for that one. Okay, and the final uh, main card fight is going to be Eric Pringle, Prindle versus Abe Wagner. Um, you know, Abe Wagner does have that big win over uh, Tim Sylvia, a very fat Tim Sylvia. And um, obviously he's a Ultimate Fighter veteran that pretty much had a, got elbowed to death by, Mar by Madsen. Uh, where his forehead pretty much grew a female body part, you know. <laughs> um, and Prindle, though, I mean, you know, he's only had one loss in his career, 
and it's coming off a five-fight win streak. Uh, it does leave me a little worried uh, that uh, his level of competition doesn't look too great. Um, that's the thing. And when it, your lone loss is to, like, Jimmy Ambry's, you know, I, I, you know, it, I have a hard time picking him. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to go with Abe Wagner. I, I, I do feel that Wagner has fought the tougher competition. Okay, on the prelim card, uh, which is going to be on Spike.com, actually. Um, we have world kickboxing champion Cosmo Alexander versus, uh, M, you know, a guy who's going to have his first pro MMA fight, uh, Josh uh, Quihagen. Uh, i got to go with Cosmo Alexander here. Well, like I said, world kickboxing champion, 40-14 and 14 pro kickboxing record. He's training with Rashad Evans and Tyron Sponge and Imperial Athletics. You know, obviously, that, that I think Bellator probably has some big plans for this guy um, if he looks good. Um, okay, next fight after that, Gennaro De Silva, PBQ, is what I'll just call him, versus Brian Goldsby. Uh, you know, I was impressed by uh, PBQ and his, uh, I, I forget why they called him PBQ, actually. Um, I was impressed with his, uh, in his uh, last fight against Marlon Sandro. I mean, Sandro was the crisper puncher, but, you know, it's not like De Silva had, like, crappy stand-up. It was a bit wild, some, sometimes looping. Um... He seemed to have a pretty good, strong ground game as well. Um, Got to go with De Silva to win this one. Goldsby, um, the thing is, he has fought some fairly tough competition. I mean, this guy's fought Ed West, Zach Makovsky, Jeff Curran. And he's fought a lot of guys, but um, he doesn't have a great record. <laughs> but, you know, uh, De Silva looks, you know, his stand-up and jiu-jitsu uh, look pretty solid. Next fight after that, it's kind of a pick and fight for me. Uh, Nick Nichols versus Matt Van Buren. Both these guys are undefeated. Uh, Nichols has five fights. Van Buren has three fights. Got some. I, I think they're heavyweights. Um, I'll go with Matt Van Buren. Honestly, total pick and fight. I, I don't know much about these guys. Okay, next fight after that, Josh Burns is going to fight Ultimate Fighter veteran uh, Zach Jensen. You know, uh, both of these guys, interesting stat here. Uh, they have lost four of their last five fights. Um, it's really tough to say who's going to win this fight. Zach Jensen, he had a really fun fight against uh, Neil DeGlyph Grove in his last outing in Bellator. You know, Josh Burns, he, you know, he's a hammerhouse guy. He has some wrestling and boxing experience uh, or style, you know. Um... You know, it, it's tough to say. Kind of a pick and fight to me. You know, it's like, I'll go with Josh Burns. Um, and finally, we have Justin Frazier versus Lyron Wilson. Uh, you know, I don't know too much about these guys either. Uh, more heavyweights here. One thing about Lyron, though, is, um, you know, he has a 9-4 and four record, but all nine of his wins are by submission. One thing about him, though, is that he's like 38. In his late thirties, like a couple of the other fighters on here, um, he's fought some pretty strong competition though, and he is coming off a four fight win streak. Frazier undefeated, but he only has four fights. You know, he's never went past the first round. It's really tough to say. You know, I can't really say. You know, I can't really put a confident pick. I, I mean, I should I go with the undefeated guy or you know the submission guy. I'll go with the submission guy. You know, he's like I said, he's fought a uh, stronger competition. Kind of a pick him for me as well. So yeah, that's it for um, my Bellator uh, fifty two predictions. If you have any comments, just uh, leave them below. And that's it for MMA for you. Thank you very much.